Hi everyone and welcome back to the French Cooking Academy. If you've been following the channel, you know it's been a year and 53 videos where we've been covering uh, most of the basic culinary techniques you need to know if you want to be cooking French food. And this is why today I'm glad to announce that we're going to be moving to our next chapter which is going to be more exciting with a more cooking video because we're going to be talking solely about the cooking techniques and everything that happens on the stove. But today I'm going to show you basically three basic ways of making the potato in a fryer, mainly of course the french fries which there's, there's two sizes. Huh? You got basically the pomme allumette which is a typical thin french fries and you got the pomme pont neuf which is the chunky larger fries. The third one we're going to see is going to be the pomme noisette, which is called actually uh, the hazelnut size potatoes, like the hazelnut potato, which is just like little bowls that you carve into your potato and you deep fry. So let's start on our new series today, starting off with our potato frying. All right, so let's start by the most uh, difficult which is the pomme noisette or the potato hazelnuts. What are we going to need? First off, we need a specific tool. This is a melon baller because it's used to make little balls. It's got two different sizes. We're going to use the small size. I've peeled my potatoes and I reserve them always in water. This is always the case. Potatoes always in cold, icy water if you if you can, otherwise just cold water from the tap. How do we go about it? Take your potato. Ideally, to make the hazelnut uh, potatoes, these little balls, you want a large potato so you can work all the way. How do you use that tool? So what we're gonna do basically, we're gonna try to insert the tool in there, make a mark and roll around to make a ball. The one thing not to do, don't use your tool like that and apply the pressure because you're gonna break that part. The way to use it, take it in your hand, take your thumb and you hold here, you see, at the top so you can have nice force. So what do you do? You press with your thumb in the flesh of the potato, nice and firm, and you roll the tool like that. And bang, you get some kind of dough. Don't worry, it's never perfectly round, that's normal. And then you reserve each bowl in water. So what you're going to do, you're going to repeat the process doing one by one and trying to work your way in a potato. So after doing like 50 of those, you'll get the hang of it. Next step, we have here how the little bowls that are finished. Before you change the water and rinse them, you go through and you make sure all these little bits are removed. So you go one by one, remove all of the bits and then you clear the water, you change the water and you put it in a new bath of clean cold water. Now for the french fries, you always favor large and long potatoes and the way you're going to work is fairly simple. You old made fries first, this is a rolling around, it's hard to work with that shape so we're going to make a square. So each side like that, you cut one side, turn the potato, and you try to go along like this and you just roll. I'm doing it roughly because, you know, for the video it's easier. You can try to be more precise if you can. Okay, and then you do the same over here. This is called paré la pomme de terre. It's basically you prepare your vegetables. When you're here, you find a stable side. The first one, the French, uh, French fries which is the pomme allumette, it's usually a half a centimeter in size. And when you're here, it's just a matter of going again and going again around a half a centimeter in size, which is not easy <laughs> to judge with just your own eyes, but that's the idea. Roughly, you're getting some very long little fries like that. You reserve them straight away in water. The next one, which is the uh, pomme pont neuf, same thing here. You make your potato 
bit squarish. Up, up. Okay. And this time you're going to try to go for chunkiest one centimeter kind of slices. Okay, so immediately you can see this is much, much bigger than the rest. So you got your potatoes, make sure it's always kind of straight, reserve the bits for potato soup or anything like that. And here again, you're going to measure roughly one centimeter. It's actually very, very chunky. You can see the difference. So to give you an idea, this is the pont neuf and these are the uh, pomme allumette. So you can see the difference in size. All right, and now for the cooking process. As you can see, I've got my fries over here that I have rinsed. The water is crystal clear, it's cold, it looks perfect. That's what you want, you don't want something cloudy. Before you cook your fries, very important, you need to dry them. So they are rinsed, so there's as little starch as possible. You take your fries out of the water and you're going to lay them on a paper or you can use a kitchen towel. It has to be clean. And you're going to just dry your fries as much as possible. So I'm taking another towel here. When this is done, you can take all of your fries and put them in another container ready to be fried. So behind me, I've got my fryer ready with an oil at 160 degrees Celsius to start with because fries, they have to be cooked in two oil baths in two time. Now let's have a look at that. I've got my French fries, huh, the pomme allumette ready, they are dry. I've got my oil at 160 degrees. The first thing we're gonna do, you plunge your fries in there And we're gonna put them on a first bath for about three to four minutes. As a guideline, if you make 800 to a kilo of fries, the first bath is around six to seven minutes. I'm doing roughly 500 grams. So I'm gonna put my timer, let's say, on four minutes. Very simple, put your fries in. I'm gonna put my timer here, let's say, on four minutes. Okay, it's beeping. Immediately, you take your fries out and you let them dry, so the oil is gonna drip a little bit on the side. And at this stage, you can basically reserve your fries for a very long time until you're ready to cook them. And this is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put them back in my container here and I'm gonna start to blanch or do the first bath for my other fries. All right, so now that our fries are sitting down and cooling down on the side after their first bath, we can now take care of those. These are the hazelnut potatoes. It is a different way for those. You don't make them the same way as the fries. The first thing you need to do, you plunge them in a saucepan with cold water and we're gonna blanch basically these lovely little potatoes. So you put on a high fire, start with cold water and wait until the first boil appears. Okay, first boil appeared, immediately you turn your heat off and you take your potatoes out of the hot water and reserve them in a clean container as we're gonna fry them straight off. And this is now that all the magic is gonna happen. Everything's gonna come together. The last bath for everything happens at 175 to 180 degrees Celsius. So very hot oil. And that applies for the pomme noisette, the big fries, which are the pomme pont neuf, and the pomme allumette, which are the french fries. So let's start with those. I'm gonna plunge them in there. Pomme noisette over here, you're gonna leave them until they are nice and golden. My chest of potatoes are nice and golden. It's time to take them out and reserve them. French fries, McDonald's style. Look at this, nice and golden, done. Chunky chips, golden and ready. Now, the advantage of this cooking method with the two baths is you get something crunchy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. Only thing left, let's dress this all up on a nice board, make a nice presentation and see how it looks. And that's it guys, these are the three ways of making fries in France. Chunky chips, french fries or pomme allumette, 
pomme pont neuf and this is the pomme moisette or the hazelnut potatoes. I've combined this with a bit of uh, salt, salt flakes. This is a homemade uh, smoked chili mayo infused with a lemon grind and this is the famous Heinz ketchup that I always want. So basically that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you next time. Bye bye.